welcome to Brisbane. Pathfinders, welcome to Queensland. Beautiful one day, perfect the next. Now, on my left here is the information centre uh, booth and up on the top you will see the display centre that is showing us where the train station is. Now, this is the perfect place to gather all your stuff. Once you've got your luggage and that, you will gather here. Do not walk outside the door. From here, we will go to the train station. Pathfinders, when you have gathered here, do not walk outside the door. We are going to follow the way to the train station. Now just up ahead here, just up ahead here on my left is the lift. Pathfinders, if you have a lot of luggage and you don't want to use the escalator, you can use the lift. You have two lifts here, one and two, and you can go up to the bridge that is upstairs, to the platform on the way to the air train. Now there is a lot of information at the airport. Pay attention to the signs where they tell you to the lift up to the train station. There are also other signs that direct you to the escalator and so make sure you read your signs otherwise you will miss them and you will get lost, okay? Hopefully it is your Pathfinder Director's job to keep you in line. Now, when you get to the escalator, make sure you are holding your bag properly. Do not push around, do not pass around. Step up, pull your bag and hold it properly. And so when you are here, do not shove each other. Be careful because it's a long way down when you fall. When you get up here, make sure you step off properly so that you do not hit somebody else. And now we are at the landing to the train station. Now, if you came up the lift, you will get off at the first floor, make sure you have your baggage properly, and then you will walk this way to the train station. Right here, you might meet some of your friends who have come up the escalator, and you will all group together and walk this way, and this is the entrance to the train station and the bridge. When you get up here, you will see the um, boards here. Trains live every half an hour. So this here will tell you the train going to the city and also to Kabulcha. So keep in mind the times here and walk up this way. Okay, Pathfinders, when you're on the bridge, keep to the left, make sure all your stuff are to the left. And because it is a narrow bridge, we want to give other people the right of way. Keep to the left and walk this way. Now, when you walk, you can see the train coming, the train tracks on your left or your right. Uh, you will see the airport where the aeroplanes are. Um, so always keep in mind what other people are doing in case you bump into them. Now, when we get up here, this is where you buy your tickets and uh, we will show you how you will get to your destination. Now, when you get to the platform here, you will uh, need to buy your ticket, so you will have to go over to the counter and pay for your ticket. You can do it in a group or you can do it individually. Okay, when you come up here, come up to the counter to pay for your tickets, and we will get the ticket from the lady. Uh, one to Kabulcha, thank you. Thank you very much. And now, once you've got your ticket, if you have heavy bags, we have a lift over here. The gentleman will direct you to the lift. Now, for those who do not have heavy bags and want to go down the escalator, we will come out this way. Now, once you've got your ticket, um, in an orderly manner, you will walk down the escalator. 
When you get to this platform, you will make sure that you're on platform number one and the train will come this way. You will get on this train, then you will change trains at Eagle Junction, which will take you up to Kabulcha. Now, you can see the yellow line here. You'll stand behind the yellow line. Do not go over the yellow line. Now, I have talked about the signs. Always keep an eye on the signs. You have a departure time that is on the board and the next train that is arriving. So keep your eyes on the board for the uh, signs. Now you can see the train is arriving. Make sure you wait until the train stops. Please do not be excited to jump onto the uh, past the yellow line. So we will wait until the train stops. There are a few doors on the train, so you can enter any of the doors that open. And we have one right here. Be careful of the, um, be careful of the uh, steps here. Make sure you enter. And when you enter here, you will see that there is space to put your luggage over here. Make sure that there is a handicap position here that is clear that if it needs to be used. Now when you come inside the train, be careful because there is limited space. So when you sit down, make sure your bag is close to you and be safe. Or if there is another group, big group, you can sit over this side. Just make sure that you Make sure that you have um, space when you're sitting. There is very limited space, so if you need to, you can lift up your bag and hold it on your lap like that. I hope you have a good view. It's nice to look around the train. It's got wide windows and it's air conditioned. It's a very nice um, transport mode to go to Kabulcha. Make sure when it stops at Eagle Junction, and you will see overhead that there are signs that says Eagle Junction. Right down the far end and over on the other side. That is when you need to get off at Eagle Junction to change trains to Kabulcha. Pathfinders, there's some rules when you're traveling on the train. One, you can, there's no food allowed, no food or drink. So anything that you have to have, make sure you leave the rubbish on the uh, platform before you board the train. When you're on the train, there are handicapped seats available for those who are handicapped. Make sure you keep clear of them uh, and make sure your luggage is with you uh, so that people do not trip over them. Uh, do not run up and down the train because when there is a uh, there will be other people that are on board and uh, we do not want to uh, portray a bad uh, uh, image of pathfinders here is a short map of the uh, route that you will take to Kabulcha we've caught the train at international terminal here our next stop is Eagle Junction where you will get off so that is your first stop there are 18 stops along the way all the way to Kabulcha so remember Kabulcha is at the end of the line there should be um, no no problems when you get to the end of the line we are now arriving at Eagle Junction and uh, I will get ready to get out um, exit the train Make sure you hold on if you are standing up and uh, because when the train stops there will be a lot of uh, movement sideways. Wait for the door to open. Do not push or rush to get out. There will be people there. Watch your step as you step out and then wait here for your Pathfinder leader to tell you the next move to 
uh, do. Basically, you will gather here, then you will walk down to the uh, center, center position there to ask which platform you will take, you will be on to take the next train to uh, Kabulcha. Eagle Junction is a big, uh, is one of the main hubs here, and there will be a lot of trains that are traveling through. What you need to do is make sure that you get on the right train to Kabulcha. You will see on the top of the train as it's coming through, it will say Kabulcha, all stops, or express to Kabulcha. So that is the train you want to get, not other trains that may say Sean Cliff or other suburbs. And this is where, at the station master's office, is where you will ask what train you will catch. When you have arrived on the uh, train station, make sure you catch the right train. On the time board here, it says platform four uh, to Kabulcha. It will also give you the departure times. So make sure you read the times. When you get here, platform four, is on the other side of the railway tracks. So you will have to go up this ramp, across the bridge, and down to platform four. So this way. So we'll go up the ramp here. See, you can see there is a train on another track. That is on tra platform three. We have to go to platform four. So that is across the bridge onto the other side of the uh, uh, track. So from the airport, you will come, arrive on platform one. You need to go to platform four for Kabulcha. On this display here, you will see, it'll say next train to Kabulcha, platform four, it departs in three minutes or however long it takes. When you arrive here, this says platform three and four. We will go down the step, steps here, or there is a lift that you can take to platform four. Make sure you stand behind the yellow line as usual. Please do not jump around because it is a small platform and that somebody may fall onto the tracks. Kabulcha. So this is our Kabulcha train. Again, make sure you wait until the train stops. It is a high step. Okay. I'm sitting on the train here to, Kabul, uh, to Kabulcha. It will take about 40 minutes to an hour to get there, depending on which time you travel. If you want to get to, uh, the best time to travel is off-peak hours, which are before 3.30 and 4 o'clock. Otherwise, you will be caught up with a lot of people going to the city. Trains are usually full at peak hours. So make sure you, you travel between uh, 9.30 and uh, 3 o'clock. Those are the best times to catch the train to Kabulcha. There's plenty of space. Um, behave yourself. Um, relax. Put on your smile. Bring your good manners and be on the best behavior. Okay, Pathfinders, at last, here we are, 18 stops, and we're at Kabulja. Yeah. Now, before you get out, make sure you got your handbag. Make sure you don't leave any rubbish. Make sure you get all your bags, and then wait for the door. Oops, this one's not opening. We have to go back that way. Sorry. 
So the door opens, watch the steps to get out. Immediately you get out, wait on the train station until your uh, club director tells you where to go. So make sure you uh, don't jump around. This is a small train platform, so be safe. Uh, put on your smile and make sure you have a good time here in uh, Kabulsha. Club directors, make sure that um, you've got everybody. Uh, there are no ex escalators here at Kabulsha, so you will have to take a lift. For those with heavy cargo, here's a lift. It's a small lift. Uh, make sure you're all organized when you use the lift. So for those of you who are using the lift, use the lift. Most of us, we will walk this way to the stairs. It's the only way up and across the bridge. So here we have to get up the stairs and over to the other side. Okay, when you're coming up the steps, um, you will come up to the top here and you will turn to platform one, this is where your exit is. So there is another step and another lift if, for those who have heavy luggage. There is a lift here to take down to platform one, then you will exit to your right. For the rest of us, with hand luggage, is another step, and this is where we go down here. Make sure you're safe as you go down the steps. Okay, when you get down to the bottom of the stairs here, if you are going to be picked up by a coach or a bus, the bus will be here waiting for you. If not, the safest place is to gather around to where the taxi ranks are. Gather your groups at the, near the taxis and then from there make your way to the showgrounds. Now this area is where the bus pickup is, but for the taxi ranks, you will have to walk up this way and gather at the ground over here. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is leave the train station and we're going to head north up towards the Kabulcha showgrounds. So um, this is the Kabulcha train station here. I'm just heading out onto the road um, as you come out onto the road, we we'll go up. It's about a 15 minute walk from the train station to the Kabulcha showgrounds. And you'll see there's some shops on the way. Um, there's a couple of fast food shops as well, which could be handy, uh, depending on whether it's open or not when you get here. But uh, we'll be driving out as soon as the light goes green uh, up towards the campground. come out from the station they'd probably walk along that grass strip there and along that concrete walkway. When you're coming out of the station just stay on the right hand side of the road you'll see there's a concrete pathway there so walk on the concrete pathway up along the side of the train line and as you get up further uh, just follow with us as we go along and you'll see where we actually uh, walk to get to the showgrounds. <coughs> coming up along this walkway here stay on the concrete this walkway will go all the way up here there's a there's a nice little uh, shop up here that sells food which could be a great little place to stop for five or ten minutes on the way to the showgrounds um, <clears throat> it's just up a little bit further you can see there's work happening here but by the time you guys get here that work should be finished um, yeah so we're just stopping at the lights
this is the little shop just here on the right, Kabulcha Munchies. She says there it's a little fast food shop there, Kabulcha Munchies just on the right. So if you head in there, you could grab something to eat if you're getting hungry. And when you've done with that, keep walking up the footpath. Stay on the right hand side of the road because there's quite heavy traffic here. So if they come down here, you can see the footpath here. Then they're going to have to turn right here at this road, this intersection. And this is on the Beer Burham Road. By the time we get here, we're almost at the campground. You can see the campground oh, right in front of us here. Across. These green buildings with the red roofs. This is the Kabulcha campground, the southern side of it. Um, as we come up along here, you can see the concrete footpath. We're on, walking now on the left-hand side of the road, closest to the Kabulcha campground. This is the campsite in here, where many of our youth stayed for the Congress in January this year. And uh, we're gonna be able to put as many people as we want to in here. The management are fabulous people, very friendly. Uh, we're coming into the site now. Uh, you can see here, there's a big stadium here, that undercovered area that holds about 2,000 people. So this is where the night programs can happen, the worships and uh, singing, church will happen there on Sabbath. And when we come across here to our left, you can see the camping area where we're gonna be putting all of the tents for all the pathfinders. So the pathfinders will be staying inside this fenced off area here. It's a safe area, it's a clean area. The management, we've spoken to them this morning and they are very happy to help us. In fact, they couldn't do enough to help us this morning. So they, they put tents out here often. And this area here, where's the toilet block in there? Toilets and showers. And there's also a meeting room up the top here for all of the leaders, for people like Pastor Timothy Sundow and Pastor Malveni, if he comes up here. And all of the youth directors will be meeting up there, having their leadership meetings. As we come around here, you'll be able to see the, uh, the undercover area that's got a sandy base. It's got a beautiful sandy base. They play soccer in here as well uh, during the soccer season. But when it comes to Camporee, this will be the area where our pathfinders can actually come and rest uh, and have a nice time during the day in the shade. You can play games in here at night. Our worships can happen in here as well. So it's actually a, a very, very good spot to be able to come before or after Camporee. I'll just turn the car around so you can have a good look at this little stadium. There's other areas here as well, of course, where you can play touch football at night time if you wanted to. Um, it's really hot yeah, it does get hot during the day. It's very much like the coastline of Papua New Guinea. It's very hot, but uh, with this undercovered area, and there's other undercovered areas as well that we've got access to um, if people want to sit and uh, relax in the shade. The other good thing about the site here, of course, is that every Sunday they have about um, 600 booths here selling fruit and vegetables, arts and crafts, um, all kinds of food. So the actual camping area on Sunday morning is going to be surrounded with the local markets. It's the second largest market in Queensland every Sunday right here at Kibbutzha. So all the local fruit and vegetables will be for sale on site on Sunday. Um, we're just going to go down here and meet with the management. Hi everyone, it's great to have you here at Kabulcha. I want to introduce you to the manager of this place. This is Mark and also Sue who works in the office. Hi, welcome to Kabulcha. And welcome to Kabulcha Showgrounds. Hope you have a good stay. Yay, I finally arrived. Oh, Kabulcha Showgrounds, Pathfinders. Where's the welcoming committee? Welcome, Kelly. Great to have you here, my brother. You've Thank just you. arrived at Kabulcha. We're going to take you across now to register up here at the registration building. So come with me, and we've got everything sorted out for you. Beautiful. Thanks, this brother. is what you want here when you arrive. <laughs> hey. Hey. hey! How are you? Good, Good to see you, my brother. Welcome, Good welcome, you. brother. Thank you. At last, I'm here. <laughs> registration. Yes, Hey! Thank you for yeah. greeting us, my Benny. It's great to Thank be here. You are yeah. welcome. So how was your flight? It was excellent. I arrived in Brisbane. Beautiful one day, perfect the next. <laughs> 18 Amen. stops to Kabulcha. I'm ready to be registered. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Come. Thanks, my Benny. Thank you.
You've seen how easy it is to come from Brisbane International Airport to the Caboolture Showground by train. That was your first option. Another option you may choose to take is to travel by coach from the International Airport straight to Caboolture with your hosts who are Helen and Trevor Oliver. You're going to meet them in a moment. Hi everybody, my name's Trevor and this is my wife Helen. Hi Pathfinders. Trevor and I will be your hosts when you arrive at the Caboolture Showground. We will be ready to welcome you for your pre-campery stay. The dates for this are 28th of December 2014 through to January 5, 2015 and that's when we'll see you off to go to the Campari. Then returning after the Campari from January 11 to 18, 2015. We will be able to provide you with an accommodation package. The cost of this is $55 Australian per person. This accommodation deal includes your accommodation at Caboolture Showground before and after the Campari. It includes a starter kit for 20 people. This has five four-man tents included, a gas stove, cooking utensils, a light, and other small items to make your stay comfortable. It's not always easy to uh, organise your own itinerary when you're living thousands of kilometres away overseas. So if you would like me to organise your transport from Brisbane Airport to Caboolture Showground and then on to Toowoomba for the iThirst Campery, then please fill out the form on page 14 of bulletin number 3 and we will organise it for you. There will be an extra cost of $65 per person. Well, we understand that you might like to see a little of what beautiful Queensland has to offer in the short time that you were here. So while you are staying at Caboolture Showground in your pre and post accommodation times, we can arrange for coaches to take you to see such wonderful places as SeaWorld, Movie World, Dream World and Wet n Wild. We can arrange this for you at extra cost per person and we know that you will want to take advantage of this only while you are staying at Caboolture Showground. Those dates again are December 28, 2014 to January 5, 2015 and then again after the iThirst Pathfinder Campery from January 11 to 18, 2015. You can purchase your accommodation and your iThirst Campery starter kit for just $55 per person and your transport from the international or domestic terminals to Caboolture Showground and then on to Toowoomba for the Campari and then returning to Caboolture Showground and the international domestic terminals for just $65 per person. We look we'll forward, forward to, to welcoming welcome you to, to Australia, Australia for the iThirst Pathfinder Campari. Campari.